Hey, Mrs. Chan, and today I'm back with my Hobonichi drawer pouch. This is a large size pouch in the Peacocks of Grantham Hall pattern. So I'm going to be taking some quick measurements to show you guys, or to give you guys an idea of what will fit in this. And then later on I'm going to fill this with my Hobonichi and other planner accessories, right? So let's start off with some measurements. So in my last video I showed that this was just slightly under 10 and a quarter, 10 and 3 quarter inches wide. 10 and 3 quarter inches wide in outer dimensions, and then height wise it's just just under eight and a quarter inches tall. You can see that. Just under eight and a quarter inches tall. And this pocket, there's one big pocket on the back, and that, if I'm gonna measure it kind of from this part here to about there, it's, you got a good nine and a half inches worth of width there. Just a little bit over nine and a half inches, but if you don't wanna you know, have something going all the way to the edge, I would say safely you've got nine and a half inches width-wise there, right? And let's see here, this pocket on the inside, this wide pocket, you've got about nine and a half inches as well, right? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And then these little pockets inside, they are just about three and one eight inches wide. Let me just check to see if they're all the same. And then that one should be three and one eight inch. Yep. You've got actually just the hair over three and one eight inch there. I think it just depends on how the edges were stitched along here, you know. From the bottom of the pocket to the very top edge, you've got about two and seven eighths of an inch. And that one is about the same. That one, you got just a hair over two and seven eighths of an inch. Again, I just think it's probably the way it's stitched. But you've got just a little bit under three inches from the bottom of the pocket to the top edge. Right? But I'm actually going to have stuff sticking out of each pocket anyways, just so I could easily see them. And then this zippered pouch right here, depth-wise, from the bottom of this pouch, because this pouch actually, I don't know if, if you've seen this before, but the pouch does not actually connect to the bottom of the case. So there's a sort of opening underneath it. Eh? From the bottom of this pouch to just under this zippered edge here, you have a little less than three and a half inches tall. Eh? And then on this side, this mesh pocket should be about nine and a half inches like the other pocket. Yeah, just about nine and a half inches wide there. Eh? So, before I start putting stuff in this, uh, I should tell you guys that my A6 is too chunky to fit in this thing, and so is my A5, right? It just won't zip up well. So here is an A5 notebook. This one is actually not as thick as my A5 Hobonichi. My A5 Hobonichi Techo is the one that has the whole year in one book, right? So this is not as wide as that, but I'm pretty sure that this is thicker than an A5 Avec from Hobonichi. Right? Pretty sure this is thicker than that. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I got this months ago and I still haven't used it yet. But I just wanted to show you guys how this fits in this pouch, right? So if you have an A5 notebook, that's how it'll fit. Alright, let's see if it'll zip up nicely. Okay, that one zips up really, really well. Right? So if you have an A5 notebook that is not too chunky, then it should fit without a problem. And then you could still have some space to put other things without it being too fat, right? All right, so now I wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be putting in mine. So this is basically the stuff that I wanna fit in here, right? So let's start off with these shiitake keys, which I, I'm constantly misplacing these. <laughs> I should just keep them in my opening keys, but sometimes I just have them floating around on my desk someplace under stickers and piles of paper. So I just, a lot of times I don't know where I put them. So I want to have them in one place. I'm going to have them in this large pocket right here. Hey. I totally panicked when I thought I lost this one because I love this bare one. All right. And then these are the two large sized pockets from, or I think they call them folders <laughs> from Hobonichi. So these are both from the 2018 lineup. And I just have some stickers in this one. This one, I don't have anything in yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. You can fit this easily in this pocket there. See, you can fit it in there. And none of it peeks out. And of course, you could fit this in the large, the large pockets without any problem. So I'm gonna put 
that in there. And this one has some sticker sheets in it, so I'm not going to go over here. <laughs> over here gets all over everything. I don't mind. Alright, so that's that. And then on this side, this mesh pocket here, I'm going to put these sticky notes. These are from Hobonichi, the Pita sticky notes. And then these, I love these so much because these are Shiba Inu illustrations, but they totally look like Lover, so I love these. And they're from Hobonichi too, but they stopped selling them, which I'm so upset about. <laughs> And then these little cat sticky notes, I got these from my friend's Etsy store, Sweet Supply Store. They're so cute, I love these. Put them in there. And what else do I want to put in there? These ones, these Coco Fusion sticky notes. These are from Hobonichi, I really like these. I bought multiple packs of them. I'm going to put them in this mesh pocket as well. And this one, this is the, the page keeper from Hobonichi that goes with A5 size Hobonichi. So I know where it is, if I ever want to use it. Okay. And now, I'm going to put stuff in these little pockets here. So, let's see here. I've got these Hobonichi stencils, the th three little ones here. And these fit nicely in one of these pockets. I actually could fit all three of them in the same pocket. These pockets, you can actually put your credit cards in here uh, vertically, right? Although, I would kind of recommend putting more than one, otherwise it might just kind of slip out because of the width of the pocket there, right? So I'm going to put all three stencils in this one pocket there and try to hold them in place. So in this next little pocket right there, I'm going to put these little guys. These are these little plastic pouches or little plastic envelopes that I got out of my sticker flake album. And I just put dog sticker flakes in one of them and cat sticker flakes in another one. And I'm just going to put them in there, fit nicely in there. And then in the bottom pocket there. I'm going to put this, this is a little card case that I got for free <laughs> with one of my Etsy orders and it fits uh, your cards in there. So I'm going to put that in there if I ever want to put my cards in there. And then also these little masking fusion sticky tabs, <laughs> these cute little cats that I got from Sweet Supply Store as well. Okay, I'm going to put them in this pocket here. All right. And then in this next pocket right up here, I just want to show you guys that if you are into journaling cards, you know, the Project Life or any other brand of journaling cards, 3x4 journaling cards fit really nicely in that pocket. So these two are from Project a Project Life kit that I got, and then this is uh, an October afternoon one. This one's smaller, but I just want to show you that the 3x4 ones fit really well in the pocket. See that? So my journaling cards are going in there, and in the next pocket, I'm going to put this little sticker flake pack with the pom-pom hearing characters. I love these little guys, they're so sweet. I love the friendship between them, they're so cute, eh? I got this from Sweet Supplies where I love this. And I love how you get the little plastic pouch to hold your sticker plates. I think that's so cute, eh? So this plastic pouch fits very nicely in the pocket as well. See? So in that bottom pocket, I'm gonna put these little Kita packs. I got these from Hobonichi, but you can actually get them from other places too, like uh, Etsy has them. I've seen them other places as well. So if you just look around, you can find them. But I got mine from Hobonichi, and they're these little washi stickers. And someone had asked me in the past if they're if they have some sort of backing, and they do. They have a paper backing on each one, so you can actually tear them out and use them individually. They're not actually like all stuck together. But when you peel off the liner, they're like little washi stickers. Right? So I got two packs of those, and I'm gonna put these in the bottom pocket right there. And then up here, I'm going to put this little page keeper from Hobonichi. This is for the A6 or the weak size books. Right here. And also my little, <laughs> this is from Hobonichi as well, a little sticky note holder. And then in this next one, I'm going to put these little guys from Hobonichi. This one has the little, they're like these translucent sticky notes. And then these ones are also from ODG, and they have these translucent sticky notes and also little translucent designs. They're like a, they feel like vellum kind of thing. Okay, and then in this bottom one, I'm gonna put this, this thing. I love this and I still haven't even used it because it's, <laughs> it's just part of my Hobonichi collection that I don't want to use. Because I got the cast cover from the 2016 lineup and it came with this as like the free gift, right? And I just, I love them. <laughs> there are these little clear bookmarks from the Mother 2, with the Mother 2 characters. I just think that's so neat. Eh? So I'm just going to keep that in there. 
So I'm also going to add this to that pocket. This is something I did with my Mackie Mackie tool. And I've got a video about that if you want to watch it. And you basically just, it helps you wind washi tape onto the little bobbin a little faster than doing it by hand, you know? It's a fun little tool. Put that in there. So I've also got this stencil from Hobonichi. This is the one that they came out with for the week's book. We can use it in any of the Hobonichi's, of course. And if you put it in the top pocket, it's a little bit too tall. See that? It's just a little bit too tall for the top pocket. It sticks out a little too much. If you put it in the second one, if you don't mind it sticking out that much, then you can have it in there. I'm just going to put it in the bottom one. And then it'll just stick up. It'll kind of cover my pom pom period characters, but you can have it like that if you like. Or you could always just put it in the zipper the zippered pouch if you want, or in the back there if you like. But just so that I can see it easily, I'm going to put it there. And in this pocket right here, I'm going to put my pocket secretary scissors. These are from Hobonichi as well, and they're very flat, so you can actually put them in the cover of your Hobonichi if you like, but I'm just going to put them in here. And I'm going to put some pens in here as well, so these are just some of the new Uniball Signal colors. I love brown and gray ink, it's just a thing I have. So I'm going to put those in there, and then zip that up, alright. And then... I am going to put these here. Oh wait, there's these little guys as well. There's these little pouches of stickers, and I got these from Sweet Supplies, where they're absolutely adorable. There's this one with cats, and then this one with dogs, and they're actually washi stickers. They're really beautiful stickers, and they have little touches of foil on them. They're really, really cute. And this little guy here totally looks like Wilbur. Wilbur sleeps like this all the time, <laughs> belly up. So I just love these stickers so much. And they come in this really cute little plastic case, too. That's really nice. So I'm going to put these in the mesh pocket back here. So next I'm going to add these little guys. These are the plastic folders from Hobonichi in the smaller size. And I just filled them with my Hobonichi stickers. Right? They're going to go in there, that opening, and then this opening right here. I'm going to put my pole weeks. I love this little guy. And in the back, I put one of my Hobonichi, we call them memo pads for weeks. But uh, it's really more of a notebook, so it's a really thin notebook and it fits nicely in there. So I just put the blue one in there. And then I'm going to put this in here, right here. Okay. So there it is, there's my case, and I'm just going to go over what's inside again to show you guys. So in the back I've got my A5 folders, and one of them has sticker sheets in it, and then I've got my shitaji keys from Hobonichi, and then in the pockets I have my Hobonichi stencils, sticker flake little pouches, my pom pom purin card case, and little cat sticky tabs, journaling cards there, pom pom purin sticker flakes, my other Hobonichi stencil, the longer one, and keep the washi sticker packs, my Hobonichi page keeper for the A6 and week size, and then also my Hobonichi sticky sticky notes, and then my Hobonichi translucent sticky note packs there, and then the cute little <laughs> mother two bookmarks, and a little thing that I did with my empty Maki Maki, my Hobonichi folders with stickers, and then in here I've got my pocket secretary scissors and several pens. Right? There you go. And then my pull weeks in there, and then in back here I've got my sticky notes, another Hobonichi page keeper, the larger size one, Coco Fusion sticky notes, and the Pita sticky notes, and some sticker flake packs right there. Right. Okay, I forgot to mention something that's kind of important. You can put stuff here and here on the other side of this zippered pouch, right? But I would not recommend putting anything too small or too thin because, as you can see, this part is actually open at the bottom. It doesn't actually, this part right here doesn't actually touch the bottom of the case. I'm not sure if you can see it well enough, but there is an opening right there. And then there's also another opening right here. See that? So if you put a pen or something in there, it might just slide out. So I wouldn't recommend putting a pen or anything too small there, right? All right, so let's try to zip this thing up <laughs> and see how it does. Might be a little bit too snug. All right, let's try it. All right, so I've got it closed now, and it seems to be okay, but I would not want to put too much more in this thing because if I do, I'm probably gonna, <laughs> it's probably gonna bust the seam or something, I don't know. You can see there, that's what it looks like. And it's all filled with mass stuff. <laughs> it looks a little funny on this side here. But it's still closed well, so hopefully I won't ruin it, you know what I'm saying? 
All right, so there you have it. There's my pouch. And I forgot to mention this in my last video, but I did mention it in the past. This design was created by John Malkovich. Isn't that interesting? He created the artwork and then they turned his artwork into a pattern. I just think that's that's pretty neat. So just a little tidbit there. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully catch you next time. All right, bye.